What's up guys, my name is Technoba here for Troubleshoot and today I've got a second part to my previous video uploaded today as well. That video was on how to install the newest Premiere Pro beta for the new NVENC export feature. However, of course, this is a completely separate video that should hopefully help you migrating all of your settings from the old normal version to the new beta version and possibly from one version to another as long as they're similar enough. I'll show you how to back up just in case this method doesn't work for moving from say 13 to 14 or 14 to 14.2, etc, etc. Either way, what exactly am I talking about? Well, looking inside of my older version of Premiere Pro 14.2 over here, having a look at a couple of things in here, under the effects tab, I have a custom bin with a couple of custom effects in it, as well as presets for existing effects like transform over here with little built-in animations, etc, etc. I find these incredibly useful and they do speed up my workflow a lot. Heading across to edit, followed by keyboard shortcuts. I also have a bunch of keyboard shortcuts here with most of these settings tightly packed into the left hand side over here for ease of access. For me, things work really well. When I switched over to the new 14.2 beta, which seems to have crashed. When I switched over to the new 14.2 beta, heading across to the effects tab, you can see my custom bin doesn't exist there. And under presets, I don't have all of my custom presets there, as you can see here. Then under edit keyboard shortcuts, I don't have my main settings here with all of my custom keybinds. So how exactly do we move it across? Well, simply make sure that your new version or the version you want to migrate to Premiere Pro is closed completely as such. It's fine if you want to leave your old version open to go ahead and double check that everything copied over once it's done. But of course you can close it if you like. I'll personally be leaving it open. Then simply hold start and press E to bring up your folder browser and we'll head into documents followed by Adobe. When we're in the Adobe folder over here, we have Premiere Pro as well as Premiere Pro Beta. So our presets and settings are currently in here under 14.0. These are all of my settings. Having a look in the Premiere Pro beta folder, 14.0, things look similar, but they're not the same. All of my settings are missing. So how exactly do we fix this? Well, as you saw, I'm moving from Adobe Premiere Pro 14.0 settings to the beta 14.0 settings, meaning that the layout is basically exactly the same. Copying and pasting them across would 100% work. Of course, if you're copying to 13, to 14, or 14 to 16 or something in the future, then this may not work exactly for you. But for that exact reason, we'll be making a backup of this existing default folder over here, just to make sure that if things go horribly wrong, they go horribly wrong safely. So I'll simply slowly double click the file that is here already, and I'll simply rename it to be called something like backup. This way, when Adobe opens up, it won't actually see this folder, it'll see that the settings are missing entirely. Then I'll head back to my original Premiere Pro folder over here and I'll simply copy my 14.0 folder and paste it into the Premiere Pro beta folder. As you can see, here are my old settings. Here are the new default ones. Of course, if the names are slightly different, then I'd recommend taking these files from inside of here and moving them into say the 15.0 folder or whatever it is, pasting them and overwriting the existing files. Either way, of course, 15.0 doesn't exist yet. At the time of making this, 14.0 has all of my old settings moved across from the old folder to the new one. All I simply need to do is go ahead and open up the new Premiere Pro beta. Once it's done loading, I'll go ahead and reopen my project and we'll head across to the effects tab. Over here, you now see an often folder, which has all of my custom presets, etc., etc., inside of them. If I were to go ahead and add an adjustment layer, followed by my zoom in effect, you'd see that under effect controls, all my little animation keyframes are here as well. Things are working as they should be. Then for keyboard shortcuts, hitting my custom keys, you'd notice that nothing is happening. Why is that? Well, simply head into edit, followed by keyboard shortcuts, or hit control alt K. Then when you see this window over here, under keyboard layout preset, click the drop down and select your old saved version. Of course, if you directly edited the Adobe Premiere Pro default file and you saved it as on top of that, overwriting it, your settings should work by default. I, of course, just clicked save as in my old version when originally making this to keep it nice and separate. Either way, when I hit my keybinds, things are working as expected. 
and that's great. Either way, that is a super simple tutorial on how to move your existing presets, settings, and keybinds across from an old version of Premiere Pro to a new one, especially if they're very similar in structure, i.e. moving from 14.1 to a 14.2 beta or 14.3, etc., etc. If you're moving from 13 to 14, things may not work exactly as you'd expect, but because we created this backup folder over here, all you need to do is simply delete this one that you edited yourself, rename the backup folder so it's the same as it was originally, and things will go back to normal for you to either find another method to do this, or go ahead and redo things from scratch if you've only got a few custom settings, etc, etc. Anyways, thank you all for watching. My name's been Technobi here for Troubleshoot. Hopefully this video helped you. If you have any issues, make sure to leave them in the comments down below, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.